Hey guys, and welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Today, we're finally gonna get to do some more freeze drying. I have been so busy with the greenhouse stuff and getting everything done uh, for the year with the new homestead. I tell you, it's been a journey. But I had bought these back in January because I had the idea that if I could freeze these in portions for my freeze dryer, okay, I could, uh, and I don't like to assemble things and take things apart because Bruce says I'm not mechanically inclined. Absolutely not. Okay, so this was simpler for me in my head. So when, when I bought them, it came like this in a little package. I got like the variety pack. So it's one cup and two cup in here, but what I have figured out based on the height of the freeze dryer that I'm gonna go to about the one and a half cup because of the fact that, you know, it's gonna expand some when it freezes. So I'm gonna pre-freeze everything. I'm gonna get all these washed up. Um, I just took them out of the package. I know, can you believe that? It's just the story of my life right now. But um, I got a whole pot of chili and usually it's always gone. And it was just like the perfect time. I finally get to do it. Um, they are not microwave safe, I repeat. I, they are not microwave safe, but as far as I'm concerned, there wouldn't even be a microwave had there not already been one there. And um, they're food grade silicone. And what's nice about these is, which that was their whole reason they invented these, was because they're sturdy. So when you put your soup or whatever it is you wanna put in it, chili, it doesn't like fall over or you don't have to put it on a tray to put it in your freezer. So I was very excited about that to find these. And um, other than that, they're BPA free, they're stackable and they are oven safe, not the lid, just the trays um, up to 415 degrees. But that isn't something I would cook in. But anyway, that's just how it is. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get these all washed up, get this set open. And like, and like they do come in different sizes, like I said. And this one here, this would be great for baby food, these smaller portions. At least I would think that. Um, and then this size here, I haven't thought about what would be good for this size unless um, I was adding some like, even like this with some herbs in here, put in here, frozen together with a little bit of water for right in the soup. And it were, you know? But anyways, so I got the chili all ready to go and wash these up and we'll get back with y'all. So I got them all filled up and they filled up just fine. It was perfect for the amount right here. And like I said, it's, I've got one and a half cups on this one. And then I've got like in between the 250 ml and the 150 ml. And the one cup, of course, if it's like half. And then here, these are the small. Well, anyways, this is perfect because what we're going to do with these is actually we have a couple um, hikes that we're going to be doing um, this summer. Uh, to a lot of the waterfalls. And the last time we did uh, Chili, Chili Mac on the hiking trip and everybody loved it, so. Skylar still talks about it. Yeah, still talks about it. Even the boys talk about it. I guess they were really hungry that day. Sorry about the dishwasher and the dog. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna put these in the freezer now. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you now how sturdy they are. Look, perfect for putting in the freezer. I mean, that's, to me, that's awesome like that. And you don't have to put another tray and everything in there. So I'm going to go ahead now and stack them and go ahead and head out to the freezers and see where I can get them in. So exciting. All right, guys, look, they're all in, all set to go. So tomorrow I'll get those out and we'll freeze dry them. All right, so I'm back. It's several mornings later. We had the grandkids over the weekend, so it gave it plenty of time to get frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and see how they pop out for the first time. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. All right, and look. Perfectly. Uh, popping out here and ready to go in the freeze dryer. Let's see, let's do the next size so we can get a little sample of everything here. I think that's gonna turn out to be a really good size for meals right there. Yeah. Especially after hiking all day. <laughs> You'd be hungry. You, yeah, you want more than that. <laughs> you could get them that right like that, but to give them a little bit of airflow. Yeah, they pop right out good too, don't they? Yeah, so let's do the big size now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I know. Okay, and you know I don't like my fingers getting cold, but... Yeah, that's why I know she really wants to do this, because normally she wouldn't let her fingers get frozen like that. Look at that. Hmm? Ah, uh, wow. I think then, we'll, we'll need a lot more to fill up all five trays. And then we're going to go ahead and get um, all these unloaded now, and let's see, there was... Oh, yeah, that we did the skinny one already, and so... We did all the sizes. We'll go ahead and fill in this, and... Um, they can go right in the dishwasher and be ready to be ready for the next load. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, all right so I filled up exactly two and a half trays. Um, so I've got uh, some two and a half trays. So I got two and a half trays left. <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? Um, so anyways, I had Bruce go out to the freezer and get the uh, sweet potatoes that we bought from Azure that are already pre-frozen and pre-blanched everything. So, um, and then we also got some of these uh, onions, which we had planned on doing anyway for that, but you know how it is, time gets away with you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead now and fill all these in and then we'll go ahead and get this in the freezer. And these are absolutely delicious if you haven't had these before. Um, mm -hmm. And they make a simple, easy meal because we uh, just fry them up in the cast iron skillet. Thank you, Bruce. I was multitasking there. I was right about the three bags per tray, too. Yes, you I were. I big brain that. You were. Okay, so then it looks like to me we can get the onions on here. Okay. And We'll go ahead and get that loaded and then we will show you down at the freeze dryer. All right, so we've got all of them in and they slid in perfectly. So all the trays, look at that. Just perfect height. And the onions with the half tray of the chili. The other full onion tray. And then the sweet potato tray. So, or as they call them up here, Yams. Yams. So, put your yams in a bag. And I thought jam yams were only in uh, what South America. I wasn't. Anyways, that was new to me. So we put the pillow in. Put the pillow in. Continue. And now we are freezing. We were already pre-frozen since we had pre-frozen items. So. Yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, so it's been 31 hours and three minutes and 47 seconds. So let's we'll see what we have. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. Ah, look, it's like a little brick. <laughs> it turned out really good. Yeah, and they're all done too. Yeah. Okay, so then there's the onions, and we're gonna put these in jars, and we're gonna put the chilies in the little um, bags here. And because I get asked a lot of times, what did we put them in? Sometimes, because I don't always show that, and a lot of times I do show that. 
Find some sweet potatoes. They're good. Woo! Yeah, delicious. They're going in a jar. All right, guys. Well, that's another one, and I'll go ahead and get these wrapped up and put up. Okay, so I'm done. I got um, 15 bags of these. We did the two uh, mediums in in here, one large and four of the smalls. And then I have the sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, and the onions. And these are all vacuum sealed. All right, guys. Thank